Hi, I'm Narid Ansari and in this video I'm gonna show you everything in detail about curves in Niagara system. So without any further ado, let's begin. You remember in last video what we have done, we create this and now I'm gonna talk about curves. Why I didn't talk about curves in last video? Because curves is too much important and I thought it needs separate video that we all, we talk about everything about curves, okay? so. For me to show you the curves, we need to have these parameters as well. So in this video, we, we're going to talk about parameters as well. So first of all, you can see there is a lot of parameters in here and there is a lock icon at the beside of it. And for, with that, because there is those are lock, we can't change them. But what is, what are these parameters? These are all the parameters that all of these emitter spawn and all of these functions and modules that we use in here, for example, spawn rate, initial particle and add velocity and all of that, they are using it, okay? And we can use it as well, okay? So we can change these parameters. I will create another video just for parameters. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use these internal parameters or attribute in your parameters project with curves because it's important to work with curves beside the parameters they are two things that is connected together right so you can see there are some system attribute there are some emitter attributes let's just pause this uh, emitter attribute that these emitter attribute they have orange and you know that the all the all the things that related to uh, emitter is orange and all the things that is related to particle is green and you can see it here so every particle has an age okay every particle has color every particle has lifetime and with this parameter that is internal parameter of our niagara system we can create some curve to manipulate the age color lifetime and all of that right and you can see in here there is a lot of them of course we can create parameters for ourselves but i will talk about it in next video in this video i'm, I'm just going to show you how you can use these parameters with curves to create some cool stuff right so for me to show you clearly what curves can do let me go to this add velocity if you play this you can see it at a random velocity i don't want to do that let's just click on this uh, reset icon in here if you click it and you can see it at a velocity to our particles to go up with 50 right because we have gra uh, gravity in here they all go down because the velocity is not enough so let's just delete this gravity force and now you can see all of them is going up okay because we add velocity of 50 in here let's just increase this and no it's 100 let me show you another thing in here if we decrease this to for example to five seconds okay and you can see this green bar in here what this green bar means the life cycle of our emitter just remember this this is the life cycle of our emitter not particle okay so if we go to emitter state in here you remember in last video we did talk about a lot of basic stuff and in here you can see we change loop behavior to do once okay and after that the loop duration mode it is fixed and in loop duration we put one second so you can see this green bar start from zero to one second so the life Life cycle of our emitter is one second not particle okay the lifetime of particle is another thing that i will talk about it and you know it we messed with it in last video right so in here let's just go to emitter state and change this life uh, loop du duration that is our life cycle of em our emitter to something like 10 seconds okay and you know you can see it go behind or this red bar in here so let's just change this to 10 as well okay and now you can see the lifetime of our emitter is 10 seconds okay so we have a spawn rate and i want to start with a spawn rate to show you what is the curves and how we can use it first of all let's just change this to 1 to 10 for example okay and now you can see it create 10 particle per second let me show you clearly if i put this here at the one second i can do it in manually or like this but i can put one second in here and now it is at one second and you can see it create nine particle why because uh, we set to create 10 particle per second why it create nine particle so let me show you it start from this okay this point 15 in here it create the first particle and now if we go forward like here something less than 1.15 like 1.06 you can see it it create 10 particles so keep that in mind with that i want to show you how curves work so for creating curve for this spawn rate just remember this you should use curve in these updates okay not in a spawn so you can use curve on attribute or modules that is in emitter update or it is in particle update 
So for example, let's just again go to a spawn rate and in here, click in here and you can see if you hover over this value, it is a float. So we can choose float from curve, okay? So with that, we create a curve. The most important thing with this curve in is this index. So you can see if I click on this first keyframe, the at the zero second, the value is one. What it means? First of all, this zero, what it means? If I click on this keyframe, it the at the one, the value is zero. What this one means? And that's where the parameters is important. So you can see in here, it says curve index at this time is normalized loop age. Okay. So the age, age of this emitter, because we are in emitter update, the, the age of this emitter or life cycle of this emitter is 10 seconds, right? So if we put a uh, normalized loop age for the curve index, this this index in here in horizontal value in here okay this is the curve index and if you put normalized loop edge it means that it start from zero and stop at one okay so for example we have zero to ten if you put 0.5 in here it means we are at the point uh, at five seconds okay so this normalized loop edge it's when you want to have a index value from 0 to 1, no matter uh, what is the value of uh, the life cycle of or emitter or particle, okay? And let's just change this normalized loop edge to edge, okay? Edge of or emitter attribute. Let's just put it here. Note these horizontal values in here should start from 0 to 10, okay? Because the life cycle of or emitter is 10 seconds. So let's just do this. If I click on this last keyframe and tell it to at the... Um, second number 10 at the end of the life cycle of over a meter create zero particle okay and uh, there is another thing in here when you change this because you can see it clearly click on your curve hit up on your keyboard and now you can see it at the zero time it is one okay you can see it if you click on it at the zero time it is one and at the second number 10 at the end of this emitter life cycle it is zero okay so it should start creating um particle at the beginning in max value and at the end it shouldn't create anything because it is zero but what is important is that this value is one so it will create just one and because we can create 0.5 particle it it maybe don't create any particle at all so uh, there is another thing in here of course we could just put for example 10 in here and it will if i click in here hit f and it and you can see if i click in here no at the zero time it create 10 of them but i don't want to do that i want to use zero to one value so let's just put it at one again click on curve hit f no it will start from zero and the a vertical value is a value between zero and one and horizontal value is a value between zero and ten because the age is the age or life cycle of our emitter is zero to ten right so there is another thing in here that is called a scale curve and what it means it means that uh, for example in this second it, at zero it is one and it will be multiplied by this value so for example let's just put 10 in here and you can see it create 10 of them at the beginning and it uh, the rate of creating the particle will decrease slowly and at the end will be zero so let's just play this and you can see at the beginning it create a lot of particle and at the end it create less and less and less and less until it won't create anymore so let me again show you with another example for creating another keyframe in here you can click middle mouse in here and it will create another one i want to put this um, keyframe at the second number one in here okay and put it at one again so in second one for one second it create 10 particle okay and i want to create another keyframe in here and let's just put it at 1.10 for example and in here put zero okay so for one second it create some particle and after that it shouldn't create any particle so again let's just go here play and after one second it won't create any particle and you can see it create 10 particle because we change the scale curve to 10 right so the next thing that i'm gonna talk about is this template in here so for example if i click on here you can see it, it will create a curve but it is if i hit f you can see it clearly at the beginning it will create no particle and it start to create particle and after one second again it won't create any particle let's just play this and you can see just at the middle of one second okay so uh, the value between uh, zero and one it creates some particle and at second at the time one second in here it shouldn't create anymore and you can see it, it won't create anymore particles are there but the emit it won't spawn any more particle okay and that's why it's 
we in here we set the age for horizontal value and it starts from second zero in here it won't create and it start to create at um, 0.5 second and after that it will create some of them and at the second number one it won't create anymore because we put age in here but if we change this to normalized loop edge let me see what will happen no this zero to one in horizontal value it's a life cycle of over a meter okay so let's just play this and now you can see at the start it won't create anymore but half of the age of over uh, a meter it will create a lot at the end it won't create anymore right so that was the difference between between normalized loop age and age okay so when you put age in here the horizontal value should be exactly the values that is in your timeline in here from 0 to 10 seconds for example but if you put normalized loop age in here the horizontal value should start from 0 to 1 because it's normalized right so that was it for uh, using curves like this next I want to talk about the curves for colors of course we did curves for floating here but we could uh, have uh, curves for vector as well okay so for example if we go to add this velocity because it is in a spawn it shouldn't change anything but for me to show you just let's just use a curve for this add velocity so if we change here to vector from curve you can see it give you a curve if you want to change the x curve you can just uh, disable these two y and z and now you can change the curve for x it's exactly uh, work like float from curve but it has three value in it and you can use it for vector right so let's just bring it back again the next thing that i'm going to talk about is curve for colors so for example this particle update you know that the curve should be on the updates not in a spawns okay so in here let's just add a color in here and change the color you remember we changed the color at this initialized particle in here we change it to this color right and because we add this color at particle update and this particle update is um, running again and again and again uh, like event tick it will change the color uh, no matter what you put in here because this color will happen after this initialized particle happens so in this color you can see we can change the color so let's just make it red okay and no it is red and we can create a curve for color as well so if we click in here and create color from curve and now you can see it give us this curve that is like this okay and we can create keyframe in here as well with double clicking in here and let's just put this in here for example double click on it and change the color for example to blue and and if we play here now you can see it start from white and after that it make it blue and after that it will change the opacity in this keyframe at this down it's for alpha so in here if you double click on it you can change the opacity of that that is alpha alpha of our color okay so i want it to from here to here be blue okay so let's just make it blue so no when you uh, our particle spawn you can see it is white and after that it's blue and after that we want to change it to white again so we can do it like this let's just make it to white and again after blue it gets white again and you can see at the middle it is blue right so let's just start with something like red and now you can see it start from red and after that blue and after that white because we set the keyframe like this let's just change the spawn rate in here and i want to reset it by clicking in here and change the spawn rate to 100 for example so you can see it clearly this bottom is red this one is blue and this one is white okay so the next thing that I'm gonna talk about is let's just bring this curve in here back okay with ctrl Z I bring it back and I can change it change the uh, spawn rate in here to 100 for example and now you can see it is 100 and what I want to show you is that you can edit this in this panel in this curve in here as well and you can see in here it showed the spawn rate and it showed the color because just the spawn rate and the color has curve if you expand it and click in here you can see exactly the curve that is in here but you have more control over it right so in color you can do it and you can see the red green and blue channel and the alpha channel as well okay so you can change the curve in here as well if you want to have more control over your curve so that was it guys for this video i hope you like this video please 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 if you want to help me hit that like button and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching bye